And feel free to take pictures while, while you're doing the video. Okay. All right, so we're here at the, the grounds on the North Carolina State Capitol, downtown Raleigh. And um, I'm here with the statue of the three presidents who all have ties to North Carolina, uh, James Polk, Andrew Jackson, and Andrew Johnson. And even though all three of these gentlemen uh, got their start in North Carolina, which is why uh, they are they are memorialized here, uh, they're probably best known uh, for their political activity uh, in that western state uh, that is a uh, neighboring state to North Carolina, which of course is the state of Tennessee. Um, that's a James Polk. You know, served for a single term from 1845 to 1849, and he enlarged the national, the national boundaries. Uh, Andrew Jackson, of course, was our seventh president who succeeded John Quincy Adams, and uh, he revitalized American democracy. And also, he was responsible uh, for the Creek removal, the Indians uh, in the southeastern United States. Tennessee, Georgia, uh, North Carolina, um, and so you uh, can't really talk about Andrew Jackson and not talk about uh, the massive remove, the, the creek removal, the Indian removal, the Trail of Tears. And then lastly is, is Andrew Johnson, who of course is our 17th president that served, that succeeded Abraham Lincoln upon Lincoln's uh, assassination in 18. In April of 1865, uh, he was impeached uh, by the U.S. House. Uh, he survived a removal vote by one vote in the Senate. And of course, he was the very first president uh, to, to ever be impeached. Uh, he served for a single term uh, from 1865 to 1869. I believe the impeachment was in 1869. And of course, he was succeeded by uh, General Ulysses Grant. Uh, all three of these gentlemen, uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident, are buried in and around the Nashville, Tennessee area. And so when we when we visit Nashville and the Tennessee State Capitol, uh, then uh, we'll probably do a follow-up video. But we can't really talk about any of these gentlemen, especially President Jackson, President Johnson, and not talk about uh, their their stance in terms of uh, African Americans or slavery in the country, uh, and of course, uh, President Johnson was a, a was a Democrat, but a Democrat in in the 1860s was totally different as a Democrat today. Uh, so. Statues here to indicate these are the counties that they were uh, that they were born in, um, and as I stated earlier, I think there is a kitchen. Uh, there's a there's a marker right around the corner that states that that Andrew Johnson was born a, about a mile from where I'm standing. Uh, so uh, if we look behind me, the North Carolina State Capitol, and then there are statues all over the Capitol grounds of distinguished North Carolinians. Uh, but the thing that I'm really fascinated about is all of these incredible trees, as well as the fact that there's vehicular traffic that uh, that run along all, corn, all sides uh, of the Capitol. Uh, some states, you can't even drive close to the Capitol. Uh, in Georgia, of course, uh, part of uh, part of Capitol Square is no longer open to traffic. So, um, so this is very interesting. Uh, right um, on the other side, across the street, is I think the Transportation Building. We have the Court of Appeals Building, and uh, behind me you hear a lot of the church bells because uh, it is Sunday, and it is. Let's see, right around the corner is I think the. The First Baptist Church of Raleigh, a very, uh, a very prominent African American church uh, in the Raleigh community, and 
you do have, you know, when you look look over the tree, you see uh, a lot of incredible skyscrapers, and I think there is one for SC, SC, SECU, which if I had to guess, is probably the utility provider for this area. Uh, so we're we're like on, uh, we're facing South Wilmington Street, as well as I think uh, Edenton. Edenton Street, which is where the state capitol uh, is on. So, uh, so this is like uh, checking off just one more state capitol that we visited. Uh, so, if if you know of a state capitol that you want me to visit, uh, please put them in the comments below, and we'll try to catch it. But I think that's all for right now. Um, we're probably going to go and take a look at the. Maybe out front of the executive mansion, which I think is about a mile from here. And that's about it. So, thanks.